Hey everyone, Goliath here. Welcome back to another video playing some Urgot. Um, facing Mordekaiser in Diamond 2, Diamond 1, so pretty decent elo. Um, Mordekaiser was actually my permaban for a few months. I've recently swapped my ban over to Olaf and sometimes Gangplank. So, been a while since I faced Mord. Um, few tips for this matchup. It's a really tough matchup. Um, number one tip, try to play inside your minion waves because his Q does isolated... Or it does more damage if you're isolated. And also, you want to play in that minion wave, and you still want to try to dodge out his Q. But it's good if you can get him to Q the wave. Because sometimes you want him to push in this lane, especially once he has his death realm. Um, number two, early on, I try to get kills. Like, pre-6, I try to get a kill in this matchup. And that's why I've also been testing out this bone plating rune page, just for a little bit more early game power. Um, I used to go conditioning. I think conditioning is still good if you want to play, like, the more of like the scaling game but if you go bone plating with ignite you have a good chance to kill him early and getting that kill pre-6 really helps you survive once you get to level 6 um, level 6 to honestly 13 are pretty hard you can sometimes win at 11 if you're doing pretty good and you have like ignite up and like you play it right but level 13 you should win um, for the build I've been doing I'm testing out Cleaver into Jack Show, and that feels pretty good. You can also do, like, Cleaver into Maw if they're heavy AP. Um, this game, they had a lot of AD, so I didn't want to go Maw. Um, another tip, you can E off of his E and kind of ride it like a wave. So this is really good to do if they try to E when you're under your tower. Because then you can ride his E like a wave, and it will fling him into tower. Um, this Mordekaiser knew that interaction, so he never really went for it. And if he did, he was, like, pretty smart about it. But pre-Diamond, it works on a lot of Mordekaisers, and it's a really good way to cheese out a kill. Um, the last tip that I have for this matchup is really try your best to just survive when he death realms you early. Like, around level 6 to 9, I don't even try to fight back. I just focus on dodging his Q because you're not going to win against him in the death realm. So I try to flash his Q. I try to just, like, move weird, try to juke it out. Um, if you have flash, you can usually live. Since you can just flash the Q, it's pretty easy to react to that. Um, but yeah, don't try not to like push up when he has death realm. And just try to not get into a position where it's a good death realm for him, basically. That's kind of all this lane is once he gets level 6. But uh, yeah, pretty hard matchup. Hopefully those tips help out a little bit. And on to the live commentary. Enjoy the game, guys. We actually get that cannon? Holy moly. We got pretty lucky. An enemy has been slain. Alright, not too shabby. We didn't miss too much XP, thankfully. I think like two or three minions. Mordor's Clad? Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I played it recently as Mordekaiser, and I, I won pretty hard. But that was only one match. Playing really safe. He has a ward for sure. I could E flash, but I don't think we kill. And I didn't want to miss out on a cannon minion. Hey, Rush Frog.
Nice. We can maybe E flash pretty soon. I'm mainly just trying to go all in when I have my Ben plating up. That's when I'm looking to E in. Because otherwise he just pokes it off and then it's kind of useless. Dodge the Q. Should be dead. I wish Talia could get something, but... Uh, maybe I should have left it, actually. I don't know. Kind of nice to get a kill for me in this matchup, though. It honestly kind of sucks she's taking XP here after I get a solo kill. That's a lot of tax XP. But she didn't really contribute anything. It's all good, though. All right, we got our kill 3-6. That's nice. Let's go for Cleaver. I wish this gold was a little bit better. I'm thinking Cleaver Jack Show. Carries are doing pretty good already. I think we can frontline this game. Plus, we have a Syndra support. Yeah, we're going to need frontline with this team comp. Yoni, Triss, Talia. We're going to scale really good. Sharing is caring, I guess. I don't know. I, I got to be greedy in a Mordekaiser matchup, though. It gets out of hand. Gets out of hand quick. Nice, another kill on mid. Mid might be auto filled with that, with her name being top gap. Ooh, we got to be careful of these bushes against Mord. Oh, that's so good. That buys so much time. Wow, he still almost got me. That's so good, though. Living that when he dumps ulti and flash. We actually might be able to kill him here. If he does a greedy E, we can ride it like a wave. I just have to land E. being pretty smart about it. He's standing too far away. Nice, got him. Uh, let's actually try to push this. He does have teleport, but we got enough time as long as we don't get ganked. Nice. That feels good, man. Solo kill in these levels is Urgot is so hard, actually. He has teleport, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's like almost on cooldown. It must be. He would definitely be TPing for a cannon wave. Doesn't really matter, though, because I didn't know where Yeter was. I wouldn't have wanted to go for that play anyway. Darkseal only gets 40 HP? I thought it gave more for some reason. We could actually gank him while his death realm is on cooldown. I think it's around the same timer as my ulti, because we ulted a little bit later. This could be sketchy. Yeah. Dang. 
If we had like better room to run around, I was gonna flash his Q, but the passive was just burning me too much. Yeah, I bet that ulti literally just came up. I feel like Talia... Oh, dude. She could have walled him in, I think, with ulti. I feel like she wins this for sure. She's kind of scared. That guy has nothing. Nice. We could maybe Shelly top here. Mm, okay, she wants the empowered recall, I guess. I don't think she makes it though. No Rylai's yet, thankfully. This guy just muted himself on our team. Need level 9 before we can really trade here. I'm not gonna talk about that. Dude, why did my E fling him to the side though? That was weird. Wasn't that kind of a weird uh, fling angle? I swear sometimes it's weird with Urgot. Go this way. Let's just get damage off. Team can maybe kill him. Okay, nice. That's huge. All right, we got through the tough levels. Yeah, we're just gonna get Jack Shadow. Tank it up. Cleaver plus Jack Show plus level thir 13 Urgot. And then if you also have Ignite up, you can win in the Death Realm against Mord. It can be pretty close, though. Like, you might have to dodge out Q. I haven't really tried a Chains vs. Mord. That sounds kind of interesting, though. That doesn't sound bad. I guess if he went Rift Maker, it could be a little bit bad, because then he gets a true damage. If he went Tank Mord, though, I could see it being good. So have to be patient. Once we have Ignite up, we can play a lot more aggressive. Everybody's bot right now. 
Oh, really? I guess I really is not. I'm dead if I flash. If I maybe flash the Mordekaiser Q, can maybe get away there. Okay, we're gonna finish Jack Show. I have to go... I'm, I'm definitely gonna go Tabbies this game. I just don't want to build them yet. Because we're still kind of facing the Mord. Actually, maybe we'll start roaming. I'm gonna get Tabbies. I want the movement speed, to be honest. I think we're gonna rim for this. We lose most of that top wave anyway. Just try to live, man. Whoever's in that death realm. Nice, good stuff. We can get four ocean drakes this game. That'd be pretty nice with a jack show build. Going to Shelly, it looks like. I'm down to fight this guy if I have Ignite. I want to limit test it. Pretty sure I win. I could try without Ignite, maybe. But I don't know. We're so close to level 13, I probably should wait for that. Wait, there's a summon airy down here. What the heck? That's just chilling. No more Mavers Mord. Only if they have a lot of AP. I don't like it if they have like a bunch of AD champions. It is good against Mord. But I feel like Cleaver Jack shows is usually enough. With Cleaver Jack show, it's like you need Ignite, I feel like. I'm still kind of limit testing it. Might just be walking into it, Mordekaiser. There is no coming back. An enemy has been Phase TPing mid, it looks like. He gets nothing off that TP. Oh wait, he gets Talia. I didn't see there in the death realm. Oh, come on. I hate when that happens, man. Do we try to go for this? If it's just I really I'm good. Gosh. Oh man. Why am I so bad right now? That's fine. We don't die at least. She's getting stacks on the minions. That's pretty good. Considering we messed up the 1v1 pretty bad. Okay, now the the real power spike begins now though. Level 13, 2 item. 
This is the good part of the matchup. Yeah, I got 350 gold off that Ezreal. Our team is just scaling up. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna hover this. Do you win 1v1? I should win 1v1 now, yeah. I think even without Ignite, I should be able to win. Jack is pretty nice against Mord because he does a lot of like low consistent damage. So I can stack it up without being like close to death. Like it'll be fully stacked by around like probably half of my HP or when I'm around half HP. Wow, that was nice. Let's try to get another Shelly charge. Did we actually end the game? Wow, we actually beat a Mordekaiser, dude. Nice. Victory. That was a good power push. I was not expecting to win right there. Don't even have to get the Baron that game. Shelly doing work. Nice, we got promoted too. GG. Nothing crazy in the damage, but pretty good for a Mord matchup. That's a really hard counter. I'm just glad if I don't feed that Len.